Yeah. We are Team Tesco's. Um, this is a book about uh, how the whole unit overall, right from pre production to now the end of post production, went just to see how we we um, handled any problems or complications. Right, so with, with um, the documentation of pre production, we started off. With our, my, my, my research, legal implications, risk assessment, location, budget sheet, and call sheet, and Billy was. I was responsible for uh, the location, the um, location recce, and shooting script. The shooting script. And originally, we did have Dan Brown in our group who looked after the mood board and the contingency plan. Um, and Brian, and Brian, uh, yeah, we had Brian, but he they had was before I joined the group. I joined the group after it was originally Liam and Liam, Dan Brown, and Brian. Yeah. But then um, Brian got kicked off the course, and I was having problems in my group at the beginning of the year. So I um, teamed up with Liam and Dan. But uh, I reckon we got the documentation done pretty well. Yeah. Um, we got it done pretty quickly. It, it just meant that I needed to work. It just meant that I needed to pick up um, where Brian sort of left off and pick up the work that Brian was supposed to do. Yeah. Um, the first idea was to film at a location opposite Dan Brown's house. Yeah, that would have made things a lot easier if, if he wasn't here, though. Yeah, but we're just going to use that to do, to, um, do things like uh, if there's any problems with the cameras or we ran out of battery uh, power, so we can go up to his and get everything yeah. sorted out and just go back out and film them again. So we're kind of getting it all done in one day, but then he became ill, so then we had to think of a new, think of a new location. But, um, our idea didn't have to really change much <coughs> no, when we had to change location because it was originally you had Liam as just an ordinary normal guy walking through the street to when a killer sort of approaches him and signals that he wants to kill Liam and at the end you see so we they, you sort of just see the killer chasing Liam and then uh, at the end you just see Liam laying on the floor dead but um uh, production went pretty well. Yeah, we changed the location to um, the monster we got up by the bus station. And we got all the footage done. In. <laughs> so we got all the footage done. In. It, it works fine like if I'm signed two days. So yeah, but um, we had to change um, the final part of Liam Lane in the lift day from the bus station to the lift of Beacon because. Um, we faced a problem where Liam, me and Liam was running through the car, car park with our hoods up and I, and I was wearing a mask. So one of the people in charge of Festival Place um, came to see us and said, look, we might not be filming because we had some complaints about um, a couple of women thinking we was going to steal their cars. And no matter how much we sort of explained that we're not going to steal anyone's cars, yeah, that, yeah. There we had to sort of get out quickly. Yeah. Um, post production or by editing and stuff went all right. Yeah, we like, we had like different ideas. Like, we had to just had to like sort out the text. The only problem really was like changing the song. So I had to change the song. Yeah, the song was originally seven eight minutes, and we had to try and cut it down to two and a half two and a half minutes to fit the video. Uh, I reckon it went all right. Yeah, uh, we did manage to capture all the footage of when we was in the car park, but we managed to sort of use Premiere and flip flip a couple of the clips to make them fit yeah. to the clips that we didn't manage to get after we got booted out. Yeah, exactly. But um, I think we and then we both had something to do with it then, so like, you was doing the editing while I yeah. was doing the song. So there was no one ever, we was never at a loose end. And then we like, kind of redone the storyboard as well. So yeah. It really changed. Uh, I think people like the video. Yeah, we have some people who like the video. Just, just, it was just to make it. Just to make it. You got things in the video. It, it was amazing. The reappearing and disappearing hat. So, after that,
Uh, if you go about my hand. How did you find that out? How did you, how did you just not just read, you didn't just read a, 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 a Twitter blog from someone there? No. You, you, no, you no I, saw, I saw it in the music video. I watched it. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Right. Oh, good. Okay. We forgot about the VPN and just being a hat. Yeah, we just thought that. Basically, we, 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 we the, the first all couple of clips, Liam, my yeah, first day, cold. didn't have his hat on. But then the second day, it was raining, so Liam decided to wear his hat and we forgot to take it off. So yeah. you magically get a guy magically pop a hat on his face. And then puddles just magically appear as well. Yeah, because of the raining. Which meant the Ryan scene with Liam had to mess up a bit because yeah. <laughs> he he couldn't run because he was <laughs> stepping in puddles. Yeah, exactly. um, but, yeah. but I think overall it went well. Shannon! <laughs> Shannon! Come, come here! Don't be gay! What did you think of the music video? Do you want to talk about the music video? Yeah, no. Why? Why was it good? I like the car park scenes. So the whole music video. No, but then me and one and then you and one. Oh, okay. Miles, 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 Miles. Miles. Thank you. And the lips. Mainly because you died. Yeah. Um, I think that's it. I think it's good. I think good criticisms. Uh, I'm shocked at criticisms. Yeah, well. Alright, okay. See you later. Are you using your Mac? Both. Use that.